In his garden in the Welsh countryside, Adam Alexander takes pride in each vegetable he grows. I love communing with my veggies. So I'm growing lots and lots of different types of vegetables. They come from all over the world. This is no ordinary garden. Adam is a self-proclaimed seed detective and these are some of the crop varieties he has collected over the course of three decades. A seed detective is someone who goes looking after and caring for rare and endangered varieties of edible crops. His most prized possessions are hidden from view. This is my garage and in it I have a couple of fridges where I keep 493 varieties of vegetables, of which 96 come from the Heritage Seed Library. I call them my ark. So this is a wonderful Welsh heirloom climbing French bean called District Nurse. This is Pasque. It's a 19th century radish from France. And then this is the Matania chili, which was believed to have gone extinct but which I was fortunate enough to be able to rediscover. Adam is part of a network of seed guardians, specialty growers for the British charity Garden Organic and their Heritage Seed Library, a living seed bank that aims to preserve the diversity of heritage crops. It's a sort of receptacle for all the sort of forgotten ex-commercial varieties of seeds and then heritage and heirloom varieties. Like a book, I will borrow that seed, I will grow it out and then I will return it for members to share but also to be able to be retained forever in a day. It counts a member of the British royal family as its patron. I like to think that I'm in good company. Prince Charles I think probably is about as obsessed as I am in growing and saving rare and delicious and unusual varieties. As a seed guardian, Adam has developed a passion for one crop variety in particular. Yeah, everybody calls me a peanut, and, but my mantra is give peas a chance. At the end of the 19th century, there were over a thousand varieties of pea catalogued in America. There were at least 250 in the UK. When you're able to hang on to what we're left with, which is maybe 10% or less of what we had 100 years ago, at least in amongst them, are potentially some real gems. Look at that, that's a nice pea. These are very immature still, but they are just divine. This is my absolute go-to favorite pea. I absolutely love it. It was given to me by a guy in Catalonia whose grandfather bred it and named it after his grandmother, Avi Joan. And until I met Jesus, he was the only person in the world growing this pea. Seed sharing is an important part of Adam's work for the Heritage Seed Library. A short drive away, the Hlanover estate is the home of the eponymous Hlanover pea which was brought back to Wales by a former World War I German prisoner of war as a gift for the woman he loved. It has been grown on the estate ever since. Well, what's your mate? How are you? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. Uh, it's very good to see you. I haven't been here for a while. This them here? This is them here, yeah. They just aren't they wonderful? Do you like it? it? It gives a sense of, for us, a sense of connection to here. We're growing where this pea originated from. Um, it's something that some of our customers have asked for. They've been interested in the story. Um, they, they're even coming down this week to have a look at it. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. Working with the Glanover pea is only half of the story. The other half is sharing seeds and in sharing, you're then introducing new opportunities for people. It's wonderful to think all of the neighbourhood will also have the opportunity to go to their local farmer's market and buy that pea, grow it themselves in their garden and reconnect with 
a story of their food culture that goes back nearly a hundred years. Adam's efforts as a seed guardian highlight the importance of gene diversity in our crops, planting the seeds for a richer, deeper relationship with our food. As soon as you put some seeds in the ground, and even if it's just to grow some basil or some parsley on your windowsill, suddenly you have a connection, a direct connection with that thing that you're going to put into your tummy. And then you're on a journey that can take you to wherever you want it to take you in terms of your relationship with food.